Hey everybody, welcome back to the council once again. We're gonna try to play through episode 5 again today to see if we can find some alternate scenes. Although, now that I think about it, I'm not sure how many differences we'll be able to see because... A lot of, um, a lot of crucial decisions were made before episode 5. Like, getting the right lands or the letter that we sent on behalf of Piaggi and siding with Home or Mortimer. But uh, in any case, I'm just gonna skip everything we've already seen in my first run and we'll see if there's anything decisively different. And did you manage to speak to Mortimer? One moment. I'd rather continue our discussion away from any curious eyes. Follow me next door, please. Let's try reading her mind. Can we? We should be able to. You wanted to know if we spoke. Well, let's just say he didn't stick around long, but yes, I can definitely say we spoke. Oh, we can't. What? Hmm. Do... do you want to talk about it? He urged me to change sides and join him. Huh. That's not what I was expecting. Yes, you can't say father allowed himself to get sentimental. And... well, how are you? Did you take it all right? To be honest, I don't know. I feel like I've lost all my bearings. And what about me then? Do you trust him? Don't say anything, Louis. <laughs> uh, do we want to side with Mortimer this time? What exactly are you playing at? What do you mean? Why are you asking me all these questions? Just calm down now. I'm not trying to squeeze anything out of you at all. You're getting all worked up. Calm down or you'll make yourself ill. You really ought to get some rest. <sighs> I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. It's true, I... I guess I'm a little... well on edge. After what we've been through, I can understand. Here, take this. It'll do you good. What about you? What do you think of him? Honestly, I no longer know who to believe. The only one I really trust is you. So, I shall follow you this time. So, I can count on you for the conference vote then, right? You can. I shall support Mortimer's project. Perfect. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. See you later for the vote. Yes, see you later. I didn't even convince her. What did she give me anyway? She was like, take this, but I don't know what she... <laughs> I don't know what she gave me. Oh. Again, looking back at this in hindsight, this wasn't a confrontation, so it was a free... a free vote. Duke Manuel. De Riche? I am surprised you dare speak to me. Come now, my lord Duke. I hope Sir Gregory will make you sorry for betraying him. In politics, one must know how to play the ball on the bounce. This might be hard for you to believe, but things have changed. What are you implying? <laughs> well, it would indeed be an honor if you'd allow me a moment to persuade you in turn. A powerful man like yourself can I- stop playing your little games with me. Flattery will get you nowhere. I just wanted be to- Be agreeable to me, I suppose. Well, I am not impressed. No, really. Is that all you have? Right. Let us save time and stop the charade, Luis. In all friendship, <laughs> I must say, this conference has allowed you to learn from the very best. But you're going too fast, in my opinion. Damn it. No good. I haven't persuaded him. You ought to grant me one more minute. That's enough, Luis. I have already stretched Sir Gregory's recommendations by granting you these few minutes. Enough is enough. I bid you good luck. I bid you good evening. And may the best man win. <sighs> yes, we shall see. Well played, Louis. At this rate, Louisiana is likely to remain Spanish forever. Hmm. Uh, he still called me Louis, even though in the conversation where you succeed, he's like, oh, my buddy, can I call you Louis? He calls you that either way anyway. Honestly, I suspect that it's just because the voice actors aren't given enough direction in reading names properly. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but I feel rather fragile. <sighs> Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from me exactly? <laughs> Is that gonna help? Your Eminence, don't worry over such small matters. God sees you and knows the value of his servants. <sighs> Thank you, my son. You've worked all your life to spread the good word. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'm sure you'll find the answer to your dreams. God is with you, and he will show you what you need to know. You are right, Louis. Thank you for your kind words. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the confidence, I imagine. 
And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. <laughs> uh. I must admit that opposing you pains me, and it pains Lord Mortimer a what? great deal as well. I can well imagine. You should know that I am not happy about it either. He's an upright man who, like yourself, spends his time helping others and doing good around him. But you know that better than I do. I owe him a lot, you know. Your Eminence, if you feel you owe him something, let me tell you it's not too late to show it. It's thanks to him that I took the Holy Orders. We met when I was very young, here, on this island. After our encounter, I had the firm conviction that my duty was to take the Holy Orders. Uh, to tell you the truth, I owe him everything. Have you ever thanked him for it? Never. You must find me ungrateful. I would never dare, Your Eminence. <sighs> you came to persuade me to join him, didn't you? I don't have that power, but I do sincerely believe that Lord Mortimer serves a righteous cause. You are an angel who brings peace to this soul, my son. Listen to your heart, Your Eminence. You are right. To hell with all this political manipulation. I... Yes, I must listen to my conscience. Yes, listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, Your Eminence. Once again, thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, Your Eminence. I'll be on my way now. I accidentally got Piaggi to agree with us. It's okay, though, because the vote has to be unanimous, right? So really, what I really need to do is say no when the time comes. Nobody else's vote really matters. Well, we got Piaggi, but we don't have Kadoi anyway. It'll be fine. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Kodoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? You don't have to. Because Holm doesn't really know what he's doing. He reacts indiscriminately. He is isolated. Don't underestimate his capacities. He's far from being on his own. Just one word from him, and nations will rise up in his support. He no longer has any allies. Look around, for God's sake. Allies? He doesn't care about allies. Once back on the continent, he will raise armies willing to die for him. They will all fall to their knees just to serve him, because... You are making a big mistake on one point. He has no end of power. Right. Not a great start. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And what do you know about me, exactly? Hmm... Other. <laughs> I don't even have to look at his thoughts to know that he's Holmes' son. Oh my god. Okay. Any one of these? Uh... I mean, I think these are all intimate details, so maybe we'll just try nothing? But I want to see his reaction to this one. I know, for example, that you felt a strong attachment for Miss Adams. I... but... How? You were there! As I said, we are allies. I never lose touch with my allies. I take care of my allies. And when they are afflicted with grief, I sympathize. I... I didn't speak about it to anyone. No. And that's perfectly normal. It's your secret. Thanks, all the same. But, uh... Tell me... Why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? And what do you think that might be? Hmm... You don't want to die, do you? 
Mm. He intends to get rid of all those unwilling to give their support to him. You can't be serious. Look, you've seen as well as I have who's here, haven't you? This is insane! Johan, one thing is certain. Mortimer never gives in. I think he is perfectly capable of making a clean sweep and starting over again if he thinks he has no other options. <laughs> After all, who would complain? People everywhere crying out against oppression? But these conferences take place according to rules. Have you forgotten? We are talking about Lord William Mortimer here. Do you really believe he would stop at breaking a few rules? No, no. Probably not. Look, I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. Uh, does this guy listen to logic? Actually, want to check that out because I want to fail this one on purpose. Immunity to occultism. We don't know about logic. Huh. That clever Dorishe turned them all against. What? The all of them. One by one, he somehow persuaded them to join Mortimer. God damn it. But, no. No, that's impossible. It looks like all of us have seriously underestimated him. While we all thought he was running around after his poor mother, he was actually accomplishing the tour de force of winning us all over, one after the other. You're the only one left, Johan. I dare not imagine what Mortimer will do if he finds out you are against him. Because from now on, you're on your own. Good luck. No, no, wait. I... God damn it. I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... It's unthinkable. Unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. <laughs> Good. I mustn't lose too much time. All this is useless entirely because Godoy hasn't been convinced. Like, what is the point in trying to persuade Von Volner if we don't have Godoy? It's got to be anonymous. Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? Like nobody? Well, four people. Hmm, not good enough though. You can count on Cardinal Piaggi. Ah, perfect. I had a feeling old Giuseppe would be able to follow me. You can count on Mr. Von Volner. Really? Well, I must admit, I'm stunned at your success there. I truly believed he would never betray Gregory. The Duchess will follow us. She will? Marvelous. Oh! But why didn't you tell me we were brother and sister? Now, Louis... Don't blame me. I thought, as you were going through a very difficult time, that you had enough on your plate without having to cope with having a new sister. Otherwise, you can be sure I would have told you sooner. That makes no sense at all, man. You should have just said it. I'm your father, Sarah's your sister, and the, the Duchess is also your sister, all in one go. President Washington is going to side with you after all. Ah, I was sure that was all a misunderstanding. Very good. Listen, Louis. Congratulations for what you've just accomplished. It's not perfect, but it's still quite a feat. But not enough, given that the vote must be approved unanimously. We're going to lose. Don't worry. I couldn't have been any more persuasive myself. You've done the hardest part. I'll take over now. Don't worry. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Oh. Meet me there and let's get it over with. It's gonna do some manipulation thing, huh? But it's okay, because... I'm not gonna say yes. I'm gonna say no. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? Oh, we're the first vote. I vote against. Oh, Duchess Hillsborough. My God. Four. You said you were gonna follow Duke me. Duke Manuel, 
against. Your eminence? Four. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? Four. Mr. Von Volner? Four. What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? Four. The votes are now cast. So you were not won over by my project. Hmm. That hurts. I... I warned you! You did... You didn't want to... Listen to me! Never mind. It will still come to pass. Traitor! What have you done? You are... You are obliged to respect your... Your word. That is the... The... The rule! The time of conferences is over, dear brother. Let us abandon all this charade. You don't have the right. What have you done to me? One thing that I wish they added in, but they probably... That was probably too much of an effort for them because of time constraints and whatnot is obviously these people are gonna vote according to how they see other people voting before them too if i'm voting against and the next person is voting for then the vote already immediately falls apart so i feel like people should react to that and adjust their votes accordingly but nobody nobody really reacted i swung the deciding vote in favor of sir holm i also failed to convince manuel godoy all right Without you, I'll never get out of here. Don't leave me like this, I beg you. <laughs> Too bad. No, I'm thinking I'll try promising my mother, but I won't promise Emma. And then we'll see, maybe Emily can bring someone else back. But Emily is Emma's sister. Well, I mean, she's Sarah's sister too, but I don't think she'll bring Sarah back. Me neither. For the moment, I'm stuck here too. After all, you're the cult expert. You must have some idea. You tell me. Not a single one. I won't stand for this. No, this is simply impossible. I... I must focus on a solution. But how come you can move around? I'm not dead. I don't understand. I think there are many things that you don't understand. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I trust you. You are going to help me, aren't you? I must be getting on. I, I can't stay much longer. Louis, I beseech you. Promise you're going to help me. Okay. Of course I'm going to help you, Mother. Thank you, Louis. I trust you. Thank you. How the heck did Louis even figure out that Sarah's his sister? We just knew. <laughs> what? What are you doing here? You. It wasn't enough for you to let me be killed. You have to come here and stop babbling away at me. Fool, you couldn't have stopped her from shooting, could you? Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. You can change your tone because I'm not the one who shot at you, remember? It's not my fault if your sister got rid of you like a dead weight. I... what you just said was nasty. That was for treating me like an idiot. I didn't want it to happen like that. I just wanted to exist a little too. But didn't you ever think there might be other ways of doing that? Obviously, it's easy to say that now. Louis, we have no time to lose. Help me, please. What on earth is she talking about? Come on, I... you're dead. No, there's got to be a solution. I am made of the same stuff as you. I already survived a gunshot at point-blank range. <laughs> I will survive this. Help me. I'll go mad if I stay here any longer. I must have been here several months. I, I stopped counting from... Hang on. What are you doing here? Are you dead? Nah, okay, goodbye. You're really mean to me, even though I agreed to promise to save you, so bye. <laughs> I don't have time to argue with you. No, wait. Don't leave me here. There's nothing I can do for you, Emma. You're dead. No, but... Good luck, Emma. Louis! No! Don't <laughs> leave me. Louis! Filthy <laughs> scum, I'll kill you! I'll get out of here and I'll come looking for you, Louis de Richet! Do you hear me? I will find you! So she still has this reaction even if you promise her. Is anyone there? I can God hear you. Damn. 
I know you were there. Help me. Help! Can anyone hear me? It's not fair. I don't deserve this. I didn't do anything. Help me, please. Those few lines are this voice actress's crowning achievement in this entire game. Filthy scum, Louie, I'll kill you! <laughs> Should I introduce myself this time? My name is Louis de Richet. Oh. oh. Uh, mess it up for myself. William Alexander Mortimer's son. William. Uh, ah, I see. What's happening here? My son is in danger. Talk. Hmm. So I didn't try manipulating him yet. I sort of want to, but um, I saw on the Steam forums that apparently if you try doing that, he basically... Like, if you mess it up really bad, and I don't think he offers you the contract anymore. And I do want to see the contract today, so I will be foregoing that. Uh... Do I just leave if I want the contract? No, Louie, no. The longer you remain in his presence, the more danger you're in. Just get out of here! Wait! I have a proposal to make to you. <laughs> we didn't talk at all. I'm listening. William has to pay for what he did. He had no right. No one must ever attack a member of one's own family. That is the law. If you don't want to be involved in all this, let me enter your mind. When the time comes, I will just step in. You mean, like with Elizabeth? Elizabeth was not part of our family. She didn't get any choice. But you can't say it worked out well for her. What's to say that once inside, he won't stay there? If I ask my children to respect the rules, then I must do so as well. So, do you accept my proposal? Sounds good. By the way, who's your voice actor? Is it Mortimer? Because you sound like somebody in the game already. I think it's Mortimer? Very well. I accept. Welcome, Grandfather. Good. Pursue your goal now. When the time comes, I will take care of William. Now we have three ways to kill him. Oh, ah, ah, my head oh, hurts like <laughs> hell! Oh, I, I hope I've made the right choice. I would have liked to see what would happen if you failed to get Mortimer, but I have the right lands and that nail. I barely remember where we got the nail. I think it was from this hand chopping puzzle thing. And then He's now we coming. have Azahel. So we'll see what happens with Mortimer. He's probably gonna die. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him entering. I, I can no longer Keep him out. He's... He's coming. You can still do something, Louis. Don't worry, son. Father? I am here. Oh! You can go in peace. Father. I am sorry. Don't be. You've been infallible right to the end. I am proud all those years watching you grow into who you are today. But father, I almost- No, if your brother had not been so malicious, you would still be with us. I am here now. I am going to take care of him. <gasps> Count on me to- <laughs> He just died! Stop, all of you, leave now! Oh, Asahel came up a little bit earlier than I thought he would. Because I thought he was going to come up at the very end. Oh, interesting. The way home died, he just freaking... His head just drooped and that was it. Hmm. Last time when we didn't have Azahel, we got this choice here. A big choice between supporting Mortimer or remaining human. But this time we didn't get that because we were... We had Azahel with us. Hello, my son. Oh! Ah, 
William. Calm down, Louis. How dare you? Louis? Your own brother. I... Father? Gregory should have never trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. No, not now. It's pointless trying to run. I love this. This is just Louis' voice actor trying to do his best demon impression. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. If we have Azahel, do we need to talk to Emma? No, we can't. It just skips right here. Louis. There's something I'd like to understand before we go any further. What is it that you'd like to know? First, know that you are not responsible for your father's <gasps> errors. However, you must answer for your own actions. Uh-oh. I better tell him what he wants to know. Tell me, Louis, what is your share of responsibility in all this? N nothing. None. I didn't save Elizabeth. Mm. I can't read his mind. He won't let me. I fell into a trap. Logic. I voted for home. Yeah, that seems to be good. Look, I'm not the one responsible for this chaos. I decided to follow your son, Gregory. Hmm, that is true. Ooh. When you got wind of William's plans about the conference, did you tell Gregory? Uh, I did, didn't I? That's a good thing, isn't it? Because he would want me to... <laughs> what does he want to hear? He wants to hear a yes, right? Yes, of course. As soon as we left the conference room. Hmm, you were right to do so. So then, what did you do to thwart William? Oh, what did you do, Grandpa? Oh, oh so I guess we skipped the portion with the sisters this time. Oh, we don't get the, the servant. <laughs> I love the servant. When Sarah told me about the power of the Lance of Longinus, I made every effort to find it in order to eliminate it. You could not have given a worse answer. What? We are almost done here, Louis. Tell me, <gasps> in your opinion, what should I do with William? Fifteen! What is this? Etiquette. Oh, I know he loves etiquette. Why was getting the lance not the right answer? Because the lance can kill Gregory Holm too? No, it's because the lance kills. We don't kill. Nobody hurts family, so do not say kill. Bury him alive, forgive him. Uh, let's try the 15 one. I know what he wants to hear. According to the family rules, we're not allowed to kill a family member. I congratulate you, Louis. You have understood. I believe you have earned a place in our family. I cannot wait to introduce you to the others. But first of all, William must pay for everything he has done. Let's go, now. It's time to get this over and done with. Sorry, Emma. Sorry, Sarah. Sorry, Emily. William! Gregory should never have trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. You evil little cockroach. No, father. Wait. It's over, my son. You've gone too far this time. <sighs> oh, father. By the way, I have a little surprise for you. Just kick him off the cliff! Ah, now what have you done? Let me introduce you to my new servants. You know, I have studied our talents closely, and as you see, they Do are... Do you really think that mutilating your servants so that they can't hear is going to save you? Well, I admit that was the idea. You are pathetic. On your knees! Ah, I can feel you... <laughs> your ego has always been your weakness, my son. You are your worst enemy. When will you understand that no lock is impenetrable? I... No! If you're the only one who can master them, all I need to do is master you. Stop! No! You gambled. You lost. Look, Louis. Look at him. You broke the most important of our family rules, William. The one that gives meaning to all the others. Thou shalt not kill. Never, ever kill a member of our family. What's going to happen to him? He will be buried alive. But don't worry about that. 
It is over. Everything that belonged to him is yours now. And I am proud to welcome you among us. Thank you. You deserve to join us, Louis. You have great potential and many things to learn. Come. Come to me. I'm coming. <laughs> That's totally Mortimer's voice. Mmm. Oh no, my sisters! Didn't get to join forces with them. Didn't even have to use the lance or the nail. I would have liked to see how he was buried alive though. Like in the sand or what's going on here? To their credit, this is a fairly different ending in terms of the different scenes we're seeing. The end result was the same pretty much, but the scenes that we saw were different. Von Volner tightened his political and spiritual grip on King Frederick William. On the death of the king in 1797, Johann retired with his wife to his country estate in order to continue his work on his theological and alchemical thesis. Oh, that's different. Manuel Godoy's close relationship with Napoleon enabled him to claim a part of Portugal, as well as the protection of France upon the fall of the kingdom. He died in the company of his beloved mistress, Pepita, after recovering all his titles and properties. Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise until his self-proclamation as emperor. His excessive ambition would cost the lives of 1,700,000 Frenchmen and leave France poorer and weaker than ever before. Deported and imprisoned by the British on St. Helena Island, he died on the 5th of May, 1821, as an exile to general indifference. During his second term, George Washington had to deal with a number of rebellions. He enraged public opinion by building close diplomatic links with Great Britain, which forced him to give up a third term in office. He retired to his country estate until his death, without being able to implement the annexation of the highly coveted Louisiana Territory. The Duchess, through her relationship with the Crown, made it possible for Great Britain to build closer links to the United States, on both the diplomatic and the commercial fronts. She became inseparable from the Marchioness Cunningham, reputed for being the most influential mistress of King George IV of England, and whom she inducted into the Golden Order. His eminence was obliged to justify himself on his return over the letter he had sent to His Holiness. His mental health was called into question, and consequently he was withdrawn from papal state power. It was said in polite undertones that he had been sent to a faraway retreat, the better to hide his anonymous confinement in an asylum of Rome. On his return to Paris, Peyru resigned from his posting as judge at the Revolutionary Courts. He withdrew to the south of France with his daughter until his death. Nothing more was ever heard of Lord Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was a topic of conversation in the European courts, but only for a few months. I let Azahel take possession of my body in order to confront Lord Mortimer. And I convinced him that my I'm innocent. Yes, I brought Alazif back to the continent, not sure what consequences that's supposed to have. Do I ever meet up with my mom again? Oh, well, in this timeline, she's dead, but, you know, in the other timeline, maybe she wouldn't be dead? I saw Lord Mortimer being imprisoned for eternity. No, we didn't actually get to see it, though. Hmm. And that's it. Well... Mm, after playing this again, I think what they tried to do was instead of, um, for example, making a four-hour episode that's relatively linear, that most people would see the same events in, they tried to make smaller, maybe two-hour episodes where the events were more different. I'm sure there's still some variations that we haven't seen because both of these endings here, we got more than refined, but there's gotta be ones where Louis probably didn't do well. Like, for example, if we fail the confrontation with Azahel, 
then maybe we wouldn't be in the family and he would kill us. Oh, no, he doesn't kill family, but maybe he'd bury us alive too. And if we had the wrong lands, maybe we couldn't have killed Mortimer. So it seems like there still should be other things here that we haven't seen. But um, having played through the second or uh, the last episode here twice, I'm satisfied with what I've seen here. And you know what? Same as what I said in the last video. Bit of a shame that the ending kind of deflates, but I still had a lot of fun with this game. And I think I'll be sure to check out what this studio comes up with in the future. Big Bad Wolf. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This was Wellens with the complete season of the council. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you've been watching since episode one earlier on this year, because oh my god, this ride has been insane. And I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. If the opportunity arises, I'd definitely love to check out what the studio makes in the future. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's gonna be it for me and the council. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!